Multi-touch input devices provide extra input bandwidth and afford effective solutions for six degrees of freedom manipulation of 3D objects. Existing solutions typically require at least three fingers and bi-manual interaction for full six degrees of freedom manipulation. They rely either on the number of fingers or the directness of fingers to distinguish the different DOF controls. Now this paper presents a single-hand, two-finger multi-touch technique for full 6 DOF control. Our technique is independent of the directness of fingers, making it applicable whether or not the fingers are in contact with the object being manipulated. Our technique adopts the RSD-style gestures to control four DOF manipulations. Panning for XY translation, Pinching for Z translation, swiveling for Z rotation. The challenge in providing full 6 DOF manipulation is how to control the re remaining 2 DOF using the same two fingers. We propose the solution of mapping the pin panning gesture to control the remaining 2 DOF, which is XY rotation. The pin panning gestures involve one fixed finger and one moving finger. In summary, the key idea of our approach is to classify two finger gestures into two modes by examining the moving characteristics of the two contact fingers. The two fingers moving mode controls 4 DOF, while the one moving and one fixed mode controls the remaining two DOF. How to robustly separate these two modes is a key issue to address, which we will discuss shortly. Our solution for full 6 DOF control using only two fingers offers several advantages. The transition between the two modes is seamless. It is possible to control the full 6 DOF using a single multi-touch action, and to switch between the two modes without lifting any finger. Our method is independent of the directness of fingers. That is, our method can be used for both direct and indirect manipulation, making its performance largely insensitive to the size of the touchscreen and the size of the object being manipulated. Our technique naturally supports unimanual interaction. Due to the opposable nature of the thumb, it is highly recommended to use the thumb and one of the other four fingers from the same hand. We now address the mode classification issue. We note that strictly relying on finger immobility does not work for two reasons. First, it is difficult to keep one finger completely fixed while the other finger from the same hand is moving. Second, imprecise multi-touch input may lead to slightly different detected positions even when a contact finger remains stationary. We therefore adopt a supervised learning approach to solve the binary classification problem. This learning approach is able to find a clear separation boundary in the feature space and achieve a high classification accuracy. In practice, no unintended mode switching was observed. We conducted a pilot experiment to evaluate the performance of our technique. The participants were asked to perform the 3D docking task using our technique and three other existing techniques, namely the Sticky Tools, Screen Space, and DS3. The result shows that our technique and Stick Tools require the least completion time. Our techniques share a similar DOF separation strategy as Sticky Tools, but ours uses only two fingers, while theirs requires three fingers. All techniques take longer time to complete the tasks on the smaller screen. Our technique performs well for both large and small screen sizes. Other techniques are dependent on the directness of fingers and thus are more prone to activating an incorrect manipulation mode when screen size is small. Similarly, the result shows that our technique is largely insensitive to different object size. In summary, with only two fingers and one hand, our technique outperforms the screen space and DS3 techniques and is comparable to the sticky tools, which requires three fingers.